Hello everyone and welcome back to another video from Coco's Cosmology. In today's reading, we are going to be doing a 2021 predictions for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Okay, so let's get right into you guys' reading. All right, disclaimer, this is not happening in any particular order for 2021. This energy may happen sporadically throughout based off how the cards come out um, for all of you individually. So just take what resonates with you. You, can got, you guys can come back to this video during 2021 and check up on it and see how things are resonating with you. All right, let's get into it. What is going on with my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs for the year of 2021? What can they expect? What should they look out for? And what energy is surrounding them? I just saw the Page of Cups. We'll see if it comes out again. Now, Page of Cups is all about being inspired. Okay. One card came out. We first card came out was the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. We got the Seven of Wands. We have the sun. Okay. We have the tower in reverse. So we got two major arcana cards um, going on here. All right. Can I get some more cards? We've got the chariot. Wow. So I feel like a lot is going to be going on at one point. Of time okay all right so I see the nine of wands move this over and I see the ace of cups okay seven of pentacles page of cups you guys I told you guys I saw the page of cups it came out again we've got the strength card okay wow okay can I get two more cards okay so we've got the ten of swords in reverse One more card for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. One more card for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising Signs. All right, Knight of Wands. Okay, back of deck energy is temperance. Okay, temperance is also a major arcana card, you guys. And temperance is all about balance, bringing balance into your life. A lot of you guys may be tapping into your healing energy during 2021. A lot of you guys are going to, you know, be seeking knowledge during 2021, being very creative with your healing type energy. A lot of you guys may be creating art during 2021 and selling this art during 2021. So really tap in to the energy. All right. So you guys, in the spread and including the temperance card we have here, we have one, two, three, four, five major arcana cards. And that is so beautiful because 2021 is the year of the number five. 2021 is the year of change. There's a lot of things that are going to be changing and a lot of things are going to be changing for the good. And what I'm seeing 
with this temperance card being your highlight of the year a beautiful change is coming and i feel like this beautiful change is going to mold you just looking across the spread i can see you working hard i can see you getting impatient with yourself but i can still see you being happy still see you moving forward a lot of you guys may be getting pregnant this year so let's get right into this energy pisces i'm so excited um to be doing this 2021 predictions with you guys okay so the first card that we have is the knight of pentacles now with this knight of pentacles energy you guys are going to be i feel like you guys are going to be starting something um you know how everyone is doing their new year's resolutions i feel like this energy has a lot to do with new year's resolutions um i feel like a lot of you guys are going to be narrowing it down to the top two or the top three or the top four things that you are wanting to achieve any type of goals any type of health related things um weight loss weight gains um healthy foods trying new foods um tapping into entrepreneurship a lot of things are going to be going on these are just some ideas um that i'm throwing out there to you guys pisces some of you guys may be writing books um during this time or thinking about or planning to write books during this time but this knight of pentacles energy is about somebody who wants to be responsible for the things that they are doing they want to be accountable they want people to hold them accountable for the things that they are wanting to do and they are taking the initiative to get it done the knight of pentacles is also about being secure i know it's a lot going on with the knight of pentacles i'm kind of going deep in with it but the knight of pentacles is exactly where you want to start your year it's exactly the energy that you want to embody pisces and like i said this energy is all about change you've got number five here supporting you with the five five major arcanas here supporting you beautiful change is coming into your life pisces i'm going to keep saying that a beautiful change is coming into your life and it's going to make your life better now you guys do have this seven of wands energy with the seven of wands energy this energy is about you having the courage it's about you having that self-defense okay it's you fighting for what you believe in it's for you charging it's for you knowing that hey this is what i want to do i don't care how anybody else views it i don't care how anybody else feels about it this is what i love to do this is what i'm happy about doing this is what makes me smile this is what gives me that extra push whatever it is that you guys are going to be tapping into it can be spirituality healing like we were talking about being creative with the temperance card that energy is going to be tapping in and it's going to give you the courage some of you guys may experience being stubborn or being forceful with the things that you are saying but it is okay because it is what you believe in it is what you're fighting for and no matter what keep striving keep putting that fire energy on that pisces because this energy is going to make you happy and what i'm seeing with the sun card is success i'm seeing success is coming out of you being courageous success is coming out of you being happy but also the sun does mean love the sun does mean joy and it does mean children okay so there is a child on this horse living its best life no clothes on happy letting soaking in the sun energy it has beautiful flowers in the background and this energy is about just living freely this energy is about being happy not being tied down to a certain standard by others it's about creating those standards for yourself and being happy and embodying this warm and this loving and this happiness type energy and it's coming from you being successful okay all right so i think this is major we got three major arcana cards back to back to back okay you guys and we have the tower in reverse and then we have the chariot so i feel like at some point during the year you guys may get caught up in something 
I'm getting a crossfire or something, you know what I'm saying? Um, and it's not going to be for a long time. I feel like this crossfire is happening because someone or someone around you um, is not one to detox. Somebody is not wanting to purge things out of their life that they no longer need. Someone may be going back to their old ways, but I feel like that energy is going to be tapped out of and you're going to tap back in to that sun energy and this chariot energy. The chariot energy is about forward movement, okay? So the chariot energy is cancer energy. It is number seven in the major arcana cards in this deck and the chariot is all about moving it's all about traveling i feel like a lot of you guys may be planning trips during 2021 you may be traveling during 2021 a lot of you guys may be getting married or moving forward in your relationship during 2021 pisces um things may be gaining momentum as you guys can see the ace of cups is down here so you know like i was saying someone may be getting pregnant this forward movement may be you guys initiating that you guys are wanting to try to get pregnant a lot of this may be the birth of a new project a birth of a new business um adventure that you're thinking about so a lot of this is beautiful and it's i, I feel like it's happiness it's tapping you into so much more than you think so with the nine of wands energy okay the nine of wands energy you're going to be tapping into protective mode a lot of you guys i see it <laughs> are getting very serious about your relationship you're getting very protective um and spirit is just saying just you know calm down take a deep breath a lot of you guys are getting very protective over your business you're like mm -mm. I can't I can't let this happen you're tapping into this like perfectionist type energy um, a lot of you guys are tapping in with this ace of cups energy the birth of new life I feel like the ace of cups is also about abundance as you can see the water the abundance is overflowing out of the cup the water is coming out of the cup it's going in four separate ways you're getting abundance flowing through your health, your wealth, your family life, your love life, okay? It is being watered. Your plants are being watered in all four directions. And it's nothing to be overprotective or defending, but that energy may tap in because you are very loving and very protective over what you've worked hard to get okay that's what i'm seeing here but remember with this temperance energy there's a change coming Ooh, beautiful change coming into your life so you guys we saw the page of cups before we even got started shuffling the cards but we also have the seven of pentacles the seven of pentacles is calling and letting you guys know pisces to be patient with yourself this protecting energy that you're getting with this nine of wands energy it is okay it is okay to defend it is okay to protect the ones that you love especially when it's coming to your business but it's also important to develop patience with yourself develop patience with others and develop patience in general when you're elevating and when you're growing and you're maturing and you're moving forward in your life patience is key to excelling in life and i feel like the seven of pentacles is a great time for that but also the seven of pentacles is a great time for you to invest a lot of you guys may be investing in yourself or investing in stocks um forex trading um, cryptocurrency whatever it is Bitcoin Robin Hood those things are some things that you guys may be tapping into during this time Pisces so pay attention to that if you guys are usually patient with yourself you know and um, also this seven of Pentacles energy is about someone who is feeling doubt in themselves or not feeling certain for the things that they are doing but this person's head is down Pisces I need you to pick your head up and focus with this page of cups energy this page of cups energy is all about dreaming okay this is the big dreamer let your dreams come to light that is what I'm seeing here with that 
a happy change is coming and this happy change is you letting your dreams come to light okay all right so let's get into this strength card and then we have the ten of swords followed by that so the strength card is about someone who is very strong of course but it's someone who shows love and compassion okay the strength card is about having power as well and someone who is persevering moving heavy making those decisions going strong not letting up off of their goals getting things done but also the ten of swords in reverse is you know somebody who is dealing with a crisis so what i'm seeing here pisces is you guys need to take a rest i'm seeing that at some point during 2021 you guys are going to be going 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 and going but at some point you're going to have to sit down you're going to have to rest and you're going to have to think about the things that you're needing to do it's okay to be on go all the time you know what i'm saying but you have to schedule some time to yourself some me time some spa time some loving time some family time relaxation um bath soaks bath scrubs all of those things will be a great time during 2021 to set aside a lot of you guys may be taking a full month off from work and just letting things generate towards you letting the money flow to you letting the abundance flow to you pisces during the year 2021 so pay attention to that we know that you are strong we know that you are pushing through i apologize you guys let me put another light in so y'all got all the juice <laughs> okay i apologize now let's get back to what we were saying. We know that you guys are strong. We know that you guys are pushing forward, okay? That's what I was saying. And it is okay to take a rest. It is okay to relax, Pisces. So pay attention to that energy. All right, you guys. So we're tapping into the very last card that we have, and that's the Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands energy is about somebody who is feeling inspired, and I feel like this imp inspiration is coming from that Page of Cups energy, that Ace of Cups energy, the Chariot energy, the Knight of Pentacles, somebody who is feeling secure, somebody who is going for what they believe in somebody who is so excited to achieve these goals a lot of you guys are going to be feeling inspired and feeling enthusiastic after you get this rest a lot of you guys may be needing rest around october november december around that time that's what i'm seeing here that is what i'm feeling called to say a lot of you guys are always on the go during those times and you are going to be called to get some rest during that time because there's so much balance going on for you so much wisdom so much success happening for you guys during this time so pay attention to that energy now you guys we're going to get into the numerology cards okay now these numerology cards are going to let us know what energy my pisces sun moon and rising signs shall focus on during the year the year of 2021 so the first card that came out was spiritual partnerships and like i was saying the chariot forward movement a lot of you guys may be getting in a serious relationship a lot of you guys may be getting married a lot of you guys may be having children okay and that's what i'm seeing here a lot of happiness um spiritual partnerships like we said with the sun card children coming up etc I do see financial discipline. A lot of you guys are going to have to be disciplined with your finances. And I feel like it's not saying that you're not financially stable. I feel like it's being patient with your finances, like what we're seeing with the seven of pentacles, okay? All right, let's get one more card for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. And I'm seeing spiritual career. A lot of you guys are going to be really tapping into your spirituality heavily during the year 2021, which is a beautiful thing. Why not? <laughs> so we're gonna shuffle the Moonology cards to see what energy is surrounding you guys during the year 2021. 
which is like the most heaviest energy surrounding my Pisces sun, moon, and rising signs for the year of 2021. So three cards is what we have. The first cards we have is emotions are running high. I can see the emotions running high with this Ace of Cups energy over joy of happiness with the Knight of Wands, the sun card success. I'm also seeing work through your fears, new moon and Scorpio. One of your fears is maybe the seven of pentacles energy. You feeling uncertain, you feeling like you can't exceed, you feeling like you can't move forward gracefully, but you really can. It's time to move on to another project whilst that manifests. Check on it from time to time. And then last but not least, for the Moonology cards, we have a personal issue reaches resolution, full moon and cancer. So a lot of you guys may be resolving any type of issues that you may have had with friends in the past, family members in the past, or relationships, okay? All right, so we're going to get into the astrology cards. The astrology cards are going to let us know what energy as well that is surrounding you during 2021 so let's see what energy is surrounding my pisces sun moon and rising signs for the year of 2021 so the card that we have first is sagittarius this energy imbues power superior confidence and enthusiasm with faith good fortune and authority this card is the sun which is Leo energy, your immortal spirit, purpose, and destiny is involved. Can I get one more card for my Pisces? All right, we have Cancer. This energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, and loving. It may concern family, a mother, or a child. All right, Pisces, we're going to get right into the Moonology cards. It's not the Moonology cards, the Starseed Oracle cards to see what messages you guys are having from Spirit for the year of 2021. Abundance, abundance, abundance. I am speaking abundance over my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. I'm speaking abundance over my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Life and Shines. Alright, so let's get one more card for them. One more card for my Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Life and Shines. Okay. And Spirit was like, well, you need three more to match the five. Alright, so two cards came out first and then three more. Alright, so the first card that came out was the Golden Children inner child tenderness innocence rare gifts messenger serious energy bring in harmony and balance star ancestors hidden secrets lost wisdom look a little deeper star keeper cosmic ancestor see the light by staying grounded loosen your grip Coping mechanisms, density, addiction, let God in. Whew. All right, you guys. You guys take what resonates with you. I am going to shuffle out one positive affirmation card for you guys for the year 2021 that you guys can recite throughout the year or just write down to keep that positive energy surrounding you. So what y'all didn't i say i am sending abundance towards you guys and what i see here is my income is constantly increasing okay write in the comments you guys my income is constantly increasing okay i begin now today to open myself to ever increasing prosperity. I begin now, today, to open myself to ever increasing prosperity. You guys, don't forget to write, my income is constantly increasing in the comments, you guys. Ooh, I'm so excited, you guys. Beautiful reading for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it for year 2021. I hope you guys are ready to crush 2021 with all your positive energy, all your positive vibes, all your creativity. You are the dreamer, you guys. 
tap into that energy for 2021 and i cannot wait to see you guys flourish and manifest everything that you worked hard for in 2021 please give this video a thumbs up leave comments down below subscribe hit that notification bell so you won't ever miss an upload you guys and i will see you guys in my next reading